Science University to enlighten your inquisitive mind. Why do we add salt to icy roads? If you live in a snowy city, trucks adding salt onto icy roads might be very familiar to you. But do you know why salt is added to icy roads? You will find that out in next few minutes. Rock salt is mostly used to melt ice since it's less expensive and readily available. Rock salt, which is formed by the evaporation of ancient seas, is mined from underground as a dry crystal salt. Do you know how much salt is used in the United States per year? More than 20 million tons of rock salt is added onto the roads each year in the United States. A water molecule has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Hydrogen bonds can be formed between these water molecules. In the liquid form, water molecules move freely. When water freezes to make ice, these water molecules form an ordered structure. At the freezing point, there's an equilibrium between liquid water and ice. Therefore, a thin layer of water can be found on the surface of ice. At equilibrium, some water molecules freeze and the same amount of frozen water molecules melt. Therefore, the amount of ice and water will not change. When we add salt into this water ice mixture, that equilibrium is disturbed. Now, let's see how salt melts ice. When salt is dissolved in water, it generates sodium and chloride ions. These ions disrupt the formation of the ordered structure of water molecules, or ice. As a result of this, the amount of water molecules that freeze will be lower than the amount of water molecules that melt. So, the ice would start to melt. Now, the salty water freezes at a temperature lower than 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. This process is known as the freezing point depression. In other words, salty water has a lower freezing point compared to pure water. Higher the salt concentration, lower the freezing point. But there's a limit. Rock salt is not effective below minus 9 degrees Celsius or 16 degrees Fahrenheit. Below this temperature, calcium chloride and magnesium chloride can be used as alternatives to rock salt. But they are not cheap or readily available as rock salt. The downside of salt is its negative impact on the environment. Salt is a very corrosive material and it directly affects the vegetation. That's why in some areas you can see reduced salt area signs in highways. A small amount of salt is used in these areas to protect the vegetation. Remember, 20 million tons of salt is added onto the roads in the United States per year. There are alternative chemicals that can be used instead of rock salt such as urea and calcium magnesium acetate which are less harmful to the environment compared to rock salt. But they are more expensive. Even though salt is not environmentally friendly, it saves thousands of lives every year. So, you still have an opportunity to innovate an inexpensive and environmentally friendly method for ice melting. Think about it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel.